Hey guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Just got out of my screening of Crawl, which came out this weekend, and wanted to give you my quick thoughts on it. First of all, how appropriate is it that it's raining outside right now? And I literally just got out of the screening. I'm in my car. Um, but how appropriate is it that it's pouring down rain right now after I get out of my screening of Crawl? By the way, it was sunny when I went into the theater, and now it's pouring down rain. So Crawl is the killer alligator movie. Um, where the hurricane comes in and starts flooding the house. Dad is trapped in the basement. Daughter goes to check on him at his house and finds that he's been attacked by an alligator. And she tries to rescue him from the basement, from the crawl space. That's the premise. And the ticking clock, like every good thriller has a ticking clock, the ticking clock in this is the basement that's flooding. They're trapped down there because there's alligators down there. There's two, and they're building a nest. And the clock is ticking because pretty soon they're going to have to decide, do we want to drown or do we want to get eaten? And there's two alligators in the crawl space, but there's endless alligators outside. As the, as the streets above them are flooding... More and more alligators are coming out, and we see a sign that says that, you know, this is a known breeding ground or something for alligators. No swimming, this is like a known breeding ground or something. But So, so they tried to establish that this is an area that has a lot of gators. And uh, um, I thought this was a really good, tense B-movie. All right? Alexandre Aja, I think that's how you say it, Alex Alexandre Aja, he's a director, he's the one who did like The Hills Had Eyes, he's done, he, you know, he, he's, he's not cutting his teeth on horror, he chose to, to, he did horns and some other things, but he chose to come back to horror because he liked the script, he, li he liked what it was, uh, and, and it's, a, it's just a tense B-movie thriller, but don't let that like, uh, put like a bad image in your head on what this movie is. You know, sometimes when you hear B-movie thriller, you hear sci-fi Sharknado or Three-Headed Shark Attack or any other of the stupid shark movies or, or Lake Placid 5 or whatever number they're on now. Lake Placid versus Anaconda. You know, this isn't that. This is... They try to take the, the alligators as seriously as they can. Alexandre Alja said that they studied alligator movement and that they tried to keep the sizes of these gators, you know, around what the um, what their actual sizes would be, and they studied their behaviors, and they tried to keep their behavior as close to possible as what alligator behavior really is. Now, that being said, this is a movie. This is a movie. Allig alligators don't behave like they behave in this movie. There's a scene in the movie where, as the house is flooding, you see a window that is starting to be underwater and an alligator charges the window to get at the person on the other side. That's not the behavior of an alligator. <laughs> it's not the behavior of an alligator. They're not going to charge into a hard surface to try to get somebody that may, that may be on the other side that they might be able to, to eat. Now, alligators do defend their nest and this movie has a nest and they defend it. Um, but while they say they try to keep, you know, in line with alligator behavior, this is very much a monster movie. A and it's a monster movie in the best kind of way. It's a monster movie where you know how it's going to end. You know, you know who's going to be victorious. You know who's going to die. You know, everybody has their part to play in this movie. And you know who the, who the, uh, who's going to add to the body count and you know who's probably going to live. You just know that going in. But that doesn't mean that the ride to get there isn't fun because the ride to get to the end of this movie is fun. This is less than an hour and a half. This is a short movie. So in a short movie like this, the pacing has to be on point and it's really on point. You know, they don't waste much time to get to the to get to get the meat of this movie. Um, the, 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 they don't waste much time to get to the crawl space and the alligators. And once you're there, it's it's tense from then on out to the end of the movie. Now, this movie is getting a lot of praise for being a really tense, really scary movie. 
it's an alligator movie. It's an alligator movie. I know that alligators have killed people. Alligators are dangerous. But things happen in alligator movies where you just roll your eyes and you're like, nope. Nope. That's not how prehistoric lizards behave. That's not how alligators behave. You know, anybody who, who's watched any kind of documentaries or has spent any time in Florida, <laughs> you know. That's not how alligators behave. But... Like I said, they are dangerous animals. They, they are capable of killing people. They have killed people. But things happen in these movies. Things happen in Crawl that you're like, nope. And you also get some of your bad decisions in this movie. That horror People making horror movies all the time where they're making these decisions and you're like, nope. Nope. That's a bad choice. Now, I did read one critic who said that this movie has like this great amount of hopelessness to it where anything that could possibly go wrong does go wrong and I agree with that this movie has a lot of hopelessness because anytime they try to do something that's going to save their skin something goes wrong and that was kind of fun you know I it wouldn't be fun if it was real life but given this the fact that this is a movie it's fun it's fun watching them having to develop a plan come up with a plan and then realize oh crap our plan sucked we got to try something else so, yes, this is a very fun movie. It's one of the best movie-going experiences I've had this year. To be quite honest with you, it's one of the best movie-going experiences I've had this year. I did not expect, you know, when I saw the trailers, I expected it to be fun, and it was something I wanted to see, but I didn't expect it to be this quality, and it was very high quality for, especially when you take, it, take into account the subject material. An alligator attack movie. It reminded me a bit of The Shallows, to be honest with you. Like, like injured, um, injured girl trying to overcome nature in the form of a beast. Very similar. Solitary injured girl. Um, now, yeah, dads and dads and crawl, but it, it was about it was about the girl. So yeah, this is a really good movie. I give this I give this movie a, a, a solid A minus. Um, the A minus being for the fact that it's not higher than an A minus just because it's it does have that B movie vibe, you know, where where you roll your eyes a few times, but that doesn't mean it's not loads and loads of fun. So Crawl gets an A minus. CGI was on point. And, and that's probably where most of the budget for this movie went. This movie had about a $15 million budget, and I think it was all CGI because it was very well done. So like I said, A-, very well done, lots of fun. I highly recommend you go see this. Go see it with a crowd because this is the type of movie where people, people cheer, people gasp, people scream, and it's just a lot of fun. So that's my review for Crawl. What did you think of Crawl? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for being here at the LQ Review where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later.